haven't been to Fairburn Ings for a number of years. Um, it's changed radically, actually. Firstly, in terms of the visitor centre. Now, it's actually important, the cafe and the visitor centre, because it draws in a different type of person to this site. And we want everyone to come that can possibly come here so that we can instigate an interest in natural history. But then outside of that, uh, the, the reserve has undergone a lot more intensive management and it's clearly playing dividends. You know, breeding spoonbills, who'd have thought that? Spoonies, teaspoons in the nest, and also for the second year running black neck grebes. It's hats off to Fairburn Ings. There's no doubt at all that what they're doing here, if we were doing it in the wider countryside, probably wouldn't need to be doing this bio blitz. Ollie, Liberty, tell me what you get up to when you come along to Fairburn of a day. Well, firstly, we uh, uh, fill up the feeders so the birds can have their breakfast or din dinner, and then after that, we just walk around talking to people, telling where stuff is, and generally having fun. Generally having fun. What about you, Liberty? Um, well, we try to educate young people to get yeah. them spark and involvement in, in nature. And how do you do that? Just showing them things from a young age, so if you can get that spark early on, then hopefully it'll um, include a later life and they'll carry on the passion of... And what's your favourite thing about Fairburn? Just the people and the wildlife yeah. there and just... It's... Yeah, it's reserved for anyone, so any type of person can come here because there's a park for little kids that we, they can play on. There's, it's very big, so loads of birders can come and explore. Mm -hmm.